Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, Minute. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we try to find our way through Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, one confusing road sign at a time. I'm the Admiral, Pete Mummert. I'm the dude, Tom Taylor. (laughs) I'm Gerald Christopher St. Odo the Good, which is redundant, Porter. (laughs) Is that a Star Trek (laughs) reference? Well, there's really really a St. Odo the Good because he was uh, such a nice guy. But um, speaking Hmm. of the good... Today we have with us Dr. Valentine, and uh, Dr. Valentine, although I do love her, is not a doctor of love, (laughs) 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 but she's she's one of my best friends and one of Tom Taylor's best friends, and Pete has met her twice. (laughs) He's on his way. Yeah. Yeah, Lee Valentine. I'm like medium friends, I guess, at this point. (laughs) Ta- Tommy and I grew up with uh, with Lee's, and she's one of our favorite people of all time. And she also happens to be a motorcycle safety instructor. So she has a doctorate 66. in motorcycle safety, right? Is that exactly. it? That's why you're Doctor Valentine. Exactly. Okay. Good. <laughs> well, thank you kindly, Jerry and Tom, my very old friends, and Pete, my very new friend. I'm delighted to be on the show. Wow, yeah, oh, we're thrilled to have you. Yeah, yeah, this is great. It's like we're hanging out at the porch, just just yep. kicking our heels up, chatting about Indiana Jones. Yep. Life is good. And what also is good is minute 66, which begins with Indy and his father being chased by a guy on a motorcycle, perhaps not using proper motorcycle safety, and ends with <laughs> Indy demanding to know why his dad needs to get to Berlin. Um. Yeah, they're getting chased by this uh, the lone remaining uh nazi motorcyclist and uh it seems to me i I, i'm glad we have a motorcycle uh doctor here because uh i don't know anything about motorcycles he pops this incredible wheelie like Mm -hmm. evil knievel style and but he's it seems like a very like particularly heavy bulky motorcycle he's on and not only is it heavy but it's also like laden with like gear and stuff and everything and would that make any difference to a guy trying to pop a wheelie like that would that keep him from pulling it off well it would certainly make it harder um but i have to say this bike is probably very light it oh it it Hmm. may shock you but this is a 1979 honda dirt bike (laughs) oh wow i I thought it might just because the nazis have no soul (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> just, yeah, it wasn't laid down. It's real easy for him to pop. <laughs> and, and all the stuff on it? Like, yeah. Why would anyone have a tarp wrapped around their handlebars? It's bizarre. He's got so much stuff on there. <laughs> My theory is it's, yeah. it's oh, is it? to hide that it's a 1979 Honda, so they just covered it up. <laughs> I was going to say. That's kind of what it looks like now that you said that. That's hysterical. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so now if someone showed up in your motorcycle safety class with this bike, would you just say, hey, listen, look, I, I, I'm impressed, but we need to remove all this. <laughs> the tarps, yes. Yeah, just everything. You know, look, I, it's great that you love motorcycles, and thank you for showing up today. <laughs> but, Indeed. Well, so the wheelie is clearly unsafe. You get an automatic fail in motorcycle safety for that. Oh, but, even for doing one? Even for doing one, Aww. yeah, especially for doing one. I hate motorcycle but safety. He, he gets, he does get two merits for two safe things. One is that he's wearing a helmet, although it's uh-huh. only half. Mm-hmm. And the other is that he's wearing eye protection, mm. Ooh. which oh, India, nice. India is not. No, no, no. Indy doesn't Indy, even have a helmet. Yeah, we know Indy never wears protection. <laughs> what do you mean, Jerry? <laughs> um. Hey, I, you know, I, I have a question. Does <laughs> you always get Come mad on, at me Pete. for bringing up Mutt, Jer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I was wondering, other than flirting, does a wheelie serve any purpose? 
<laughs> so, so, <laughs> I mean, I mean is it, yeah, like, is there a reason that he would choose to do it here? Um, you know, no. is that, yeah, is it, like, like, is it, or is it just, <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do that? He, he's not harming them. All he's doing is scaring them. But you know what it made me think of, actually, was Jaws. Oh, mm. my God. That's mm. funny. Yeah. I mean, like, like this, the, yeah, the, the shark approaching and snapping at you. Oh, yeah. And just sort of like landing <laughs> yeah. on the yeah. boat. Yeah. 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 Just landing yeah. 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 <laughs> I can see that. That's awesome. <laughs> because what he and all the other Germans should have done is just shot them, right? Yeah. Yeah. They always of get the course. idea like a, like 30 seconds too late. Like yeah, as in yeah, he's about to destroy yeah. them with something else. Yeah. Poor Nazis. Well, see, I wonder, is, is, is a wheelie just a side effect of acceleration? Mm, no, you have like, to do it intentionally. You do? Okay, I do. Oh, really? Know. Okay. It's so not, it really is like, just yeah. a show off move. It's not yeah. like it doesn't get any speed or anything or. Yeah. Right, right. Wow. All right. And so this is, this is purely he's trying to intimidate Henry and Junior here. He's not like, yeah. he's not going to do anything by landing his wheel on the back of their motorcycle i don't think so the only thing he'd do is be more likely to crash himself which seems counterproductive but that's what it seems like yeah, yeah. yeah. he's on one yeah. wheel and he's on this other moving <laughs> thing yeah that's that's precarious for him it, yeah. well, that, that know, makes that brings up a question for me uh, uh, somewhat unrelated but in night rider uh <laughs> you know when he'd be chasing behind the semi truck and then he'd drive into the truck yeah if you're driving cool. like 60 miles an hour on the freeway and then you go up a ramp, wouldn't you be yeah. going up the ramp like 60 miles an hour? That always made me really nervous <laughs> when I would see it. Even, even in the game of Spy Hunter when you do that. Like, yeah, you don't have yeah, to control yeah. that at all, but you see it happening. Yeah. That would yeah. always freak me out because, yeah, exactly. You, you, the, the driver must, like the second he hits that ramp, <laughs> like hit the brakes, I guess? So he's still going up at like 30 instead of 60 or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> You know, I, is, I had one more question about this wheelie. <laughs> is, it, is it ever, like, it's, it's always popped a wheelie. Like, is wheelie ever a verb? Like, like for instance, oh. could, you, could you say, you know, I can wheelie all over town. Wheelie? You can? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or <laughs> well, like, step back while I wheelie to woo you. I think so, because if you popping a wheelie is the act of getting into the wheelie, I think. Because you pop it. You don't pop oh. something continuously. Hmm. Like, if you oh, pop a balloon, it's a, it's a one time. It's an instantaneous action. So my guess is that you pop it to get into the wheelie, and then you wheelie. Well, well clear it up here. Clear it up here for us, Leaves. Uh, oh, I mean, God, I've never used it. <laughs> what do you call that? Transitive or intransitive? I, yeah. Do you wheelie? He wheelied for 10 seconds? Would you say that? I don't know. I guess. Or can you ride a wheelie? Ride a wheelie. I think no, ride yeah, a wheelie. Yeah, but it's, it's still a noun. It's a noun. Yeah. It's a noun. Yeah. It's a watch yeah. me pop a wheelie. Now, okay, yeah. watch me wheelie. Watch me continue in a wheelie type fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I've popped myself into this wheelie configuration. <laughs> have you have you ever wheelied, Lees? No, I never wheelied. I never wheelied. Um, never. Just didn't seem worth Not it. Wheelie? No. The wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, you know, I used to. <laughs> well, I used to wheelie my uh, BMX bike. Oh, sure, me too. And that was hard, because then, like, you'd fall on your back. Like, that hurt when you fall. Yeah. You'd, like, yank. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Braggart. It's not very safe. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's still sore because he never had a, a BMX bike. That's a big no, point I of never. contention on our Patreon show. He had a big wheel. Seat. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, you know, just, just for fun, what was, what was the biggest don't that you encountered at, at like that everybody thought you were supposed to do in motorcycle safety class and everybody was like, Oh, I know. And you're like, you're never supposed to do that. It <laughs> <laughs> was the biggest uh, mistake or misconception people would have about motorcycles. Um, I, you know, the one that comes to mind is the experienced people who would come to take the class for some reason. And they would think they knew everything and they would insist on using only one or two fingers on the brake levers which oh. is something that you actually see in, I think it was in the previous minute perhaps, but you see the guys on dirt bikes doing that, and that's okay on a dirt bike or on a racetrack, but on the street, 
You always want all four fingers when you're stopping so that you can use all of your phalange muscles to stop with. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, all four fingers was a common misconception. People thought you should just use two. And we're like, no, 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 use them all four. So Yeah. Was that just How to look that? cool, like the guy driving the, with just one hand on the bottom of the steering wheel? Yes, I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, is it uh, is it harder to steer a motorcycle that it has a sidecar attached to it? You know, I have never driven one. I've always I'd always wanted to, but I, it's certainly less fun. I can tell you that the whole fun of <laughs> yeah, motorcycling so, yeah. is leaning over. You don't get to lean over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess it probably steers like a tricycle would. I don't know. Yeah, it looks huh. weird. Yeah. It looks yeah. awkward. Yeah. yeah. Is it? You know, I noticed that the, the Nazi motorcyclist is driving with his headlight on mm-hmm. while the Jones three-legged, is it a tri-motorcycle? Sidecar. <laughs> tri- Sidecar, thank you. He's dri- they're, they're driving with their headlight off. Now, I know it's like 9 a.m. in the morning or whatever, but what's the ruling on that officially? Headlights on during the day? It is now. It's required now, but certainly not in the 30s or even in the 70s um, or in 1989. Probably not even in 1989. Yeah. Oh, really? But it is okay. required now. Yeah, headlights in the daytime for safety. No, so he was rather progressive with that, his thinking. <laughs> the German was, yeah, not <laughs> Indy. Yes, yes. No, no, no he never <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Um, it's a little bit about the last minute, the previous minute, but oh, sure. are the Germans just always so prepared that they ship, store and ship their motorcycles in boxes <laughs> full of gas already to go? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. They got the trains running on time and the motorcycles. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that, that brings up a question I'd like to ask you, Lise. What would be what would it be like to start a motorcycle inside a sealed crate? Impossible. <laughs> Do you see? He has no headroom. He has no head clearance, and he would have to kickstart this bike if oh, in the thirties. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. So you yeah. can't even stand up to do that. No, it's ridiculous. But. <laughs> well, they come out. They'd probably come out coughing too, right? Like the carbon monoxide. Or dead. Or, well, yeah, yeah. They would have to they come out asleep. <laughs> they make it look like they started it in a split second and then you know race. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, it's like a car. It has to start and then you can go a second or two later. Yeah. I like you said no, 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 no. Like the sound of a starting motorcycle. Yeah. No, 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 no. You didn't hear anything. Um, so, we got a kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys agree. You might agree since you went to Indiana University, but the, uh, <laughs> the stick and the spokes trick, this is, uh, we, Indy has no connection with this Nazi that, like he did in the truck mm-hmm. in Cairo with the, 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 he shared that smile with the guy and then immediately punched him out and killed him out of the, out of the truck and sent him down a cliff, mm-hmm. which yeah. broke our hearts. Yeah. I kind of get a similar vibe off of this thing with the spokes thing the stick in the spokes and, and and killing the guy that i assume he dies but anyway it reminds me so much of the exact same move from breaking away when Aww. the kid is riding with the italians and they're just complete jerks and they do that exact move <laughs> to him and like it's so connected with me to that movie that this feels like oh indy really shouldn't have done that that was awful i mean yeah this guy was about to shoot him and he's a nazi and who knows what kind of blood he has on his hands but that's really that hurts don't do that <laughs> and then he, dirty he, pool. he just purely psychopath smile yeah like he, oh he's he delighted oh, takes yeah. glee yeah. in this guy's yeah but there you know mythbusters did a, an episode about this yeah, <laughs> oh really happen. like yeah it, it was imp- <laughs> it, they tried with a wooden like a wooden pull and the motorcycle snapped it immediately like it didn't the motorcycle oh, didn't really? slow down wow and then they used a steel pull and the the bike did not flip over like this it skidded to a stop and the only way they could get the bike to oh. jump up like that was to put explosives underneath it. <laughs> which sort of looks like what they did. Which, is, really, which is what they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my question. Do, does the motorcycle blow up? It gets catapulted by up. an explosion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. And so I thought to myself, maybe on this road, there's one landmine. <laughs> <Yes. Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> and it was just, you know, maybe that's just why. Just unlucky. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that one guy was just <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> or is really that a little bit of uh, Yahweh rumpus for you, well, Jim? Wow. I think we know, Pete. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for dunking that when I, I just threw it up and you threw it back in. <laughs> well, here's just the, the other thing about that bike flipping is clearly not a stuntman, right? clearly a dummy who never lets go of the handlebars, which doesn't make any sense. Right? Oh I mean, you would get separated so. from the bike. You'd go flying, but uh, not this one. No. Wow, that's a good point. Yeah, he's like glued out. That's right, he would. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's such in shock. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't that understand good. why he blew up. He was like, I'm supposed to skid to a stop. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Is yeah. that having him breaking away? <laughs> <laughs> or if I think he's in oh. Star Wars, that sound effect is pure Star Wars. Yo, yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. 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 Um, hey, do, uh, do motorcycle glasses make you look smarter? Because <laughs> <laughs> we, they kind of, they might, right? I actually wondered if you could get prescription motorcycle goggles. Oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, they, well, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, really? can. Yeah, well, it's oh. easily. You just Google it. Okay. <laughs> Warby Parker, motorcycle glasses. <laughs> 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 well, just, just thinking about the pole, the, the pole and the spokes thing, um, mm -hmm. It's a couple, I have a couple of questions about that. Actually, my first question about that is, what year is this? 1938. What month is this? Do we know? Um, I don't. Do I'm this sure we made us. a calendar. <laughs> start the show. No, we no, no, it's got to be. It's got to no. be like October or September because school just started. Oh, good. Okay, but no, that yeah, doesn't make good sense. Call, Pete. Because the jousting stick, <laughs> the flag, is an Austrian flag. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. didn't Germany annex Austria in March of 1938? They did, uh, yeah. Oh. They still get to fly their flag? <laughs> That's a very good point. This is a remote outpost, and they would have gotten written up at the next inspection. They just didn't hear about the annexation yet. Yeah, maybe. Or the guy That's... sitting around to collect the flags, like he hasn't gotten this far yet. Like he's right. working his way around. And he stole his motorcycle, so he couldn't yeah. get there. God, you're smart, Dr. Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I do too. Yeah, that's. Good. It, I I do like. I also like uh, Indy's dad's disapproval at Junior taking so much glee in that man's very painful demise. Is that what that is? Because I don't. I, I like this moment a lot, but I gotta be. And I I would not pick at this unless we were doing this minute by minute, which we are. Oh no, sadly. There's but no, another, I'm, I'm I just fun, no. Huh? No, I, I just said I like the moment. I like the moment a lot. I just if I'm gonna if it goes by any slower than one minute. I'm like, wait, why is he upset? He was like really excited when Indy jousted the guy like a minute ago, and but now he's like really disapproving of yeah, like I, the the spoke trick. Well, I know why. He because he didn't kill him in a medieval fashion. <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Oh, that'd know, be like I'm jousting and tripping the guy's horse. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a foul. That's a, if you're yeah if you're jousting, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> or if you like pour, you know, boiling oil on somebody if they're climbing up a ladder, <laughs> that's lovely. I, I you slap them with your gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. But no, no, this is too modern of a demise. Well, it's yeah. a little yeah. reminiscent of a Ben Hur move, right? Sort of the wheel spoke. Thing. Oh, oh and yeah. It's too oh, yeah. Old, yeah, yeah. Henry should lighten up. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that's like antiquity. He's not really yeah, into all that. That's not his era. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not medieval. <laughs> that is a Ben Hur move. That's pretty good. <laughs> what you know? What? What? Why does Henry check his stopwatch and then wind it? And, yeah, and I think it's a. Uh... It's, it seems like it's like a, a tactic. Like, he's like, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking mm -hmm. at my watch. I don't like what okay. you just did. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Oh, do, do you think the watch is actually set to Austrian time or to some special grail time? Oh. 
<laughs> probably like, you know, grail time. Yeah, yeah it I'm probably curious. is grail time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what that would look like, but you know, it's like maybe <laughs> maybe it's like 982 years. <laughs> it's always That's time right. for supper. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> exactly. It was like our friend Doug from college, Jerry. He, wherever he would go, he would keep his cl- his watch at the at his Indiana local time. Oh yeah. So like when he would, you know, if he'd come to California, he <laughs> would have his true. watch set two hours late for everything. <laughs> no, it was like not something I would do. <laughs> he just couldn't. <laughs> you know, he couldn't adjust the jet lag in any possible way. We just figured the rest <laughs> of the world was wrong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, uh, Pete. Question for you. Yeah. Um, the the sign is a three way post, right? And it's uh, right, Venedig, which is uh, uh, I believe German for Venice. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, Berlin. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Which 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 German for Berlin? Berlin. <laughs> Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And so, what is the third sign? What is the third one saying? We can't it's really. It's Garmisch Partenkirchen. It's where they had the uh, 1936 Winter Olympics there. And when I was in uh, high school, I did uh, a foreign exchange thing in Germany, in Bavaria. And there was this girl I really wanted to impress. And we went to uh, <laughs> Garmisch <laughs> for some reason. And we went to the ski jump. Like you can tour where they had the Olympic ski jump, the 36 Olympic ski jump. And I was wearing these white airwalk pants. And they were so awesome. And we're standing up on the top of this <laughs> ski jump. And I fell, like I slipped. And I went like halfway down the mountain and I oh stood God. up and my white pants were green. Mm. <laughs> it was, it well, was painful. How, how did you, how did you see that? How, could you read the sign? I couldn't read it. You can see the, you can see the end of it. And it's in the, that's, that's like the big place in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like that's like <laughs> Mr. Rogers. <laughs> that's the big place in the. I mean, yeah, just, yeah. Just, yeah. That's like, like that's like that. the famous close by place. Like that's, oh, that's yeah. where they were coming from. Yeah, but it, I didn't even this... notice the third part of the sign. Yeah, yeah. But it's well, the we... sign's a really really weird sign because it it has Berlin, Venice, and Garmisch, and like one of those places is close. But this would be like if you're in Kansas. <laughs> And you would see a sign that says Chicago, L.A., and San Francisco. Like, it's just where our three locations are. Yeah. But it doesn't right. have anything close. Like, it doesn't have Denver or Chicago. Or, or it doesn't have Denver or Dallas. Like, this, shines, this sign should have Munich or Zurich, which are a lot closer than yeah. Berlin and yeah, Venice. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, it's just I was like, going to say, this reminds me of, and Jer and Liege will appreciate this completely, we, the, we, we, the three of us bonded at a camp up in Michigan. But, Liege, you lived in Chicago. I lived over in Connecticut. Jer lived in Ohio. But you would drive, you would drive south, and you would get to what, like eighty or something, I eighty, yeah. and there would be a sign that literally said Chicago this way, New York this way, and that's exactly what the sign mm-hmm. looks like to me. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm coming from camp. I had so much fun. Oh my god, oh, I'd love to go to Chicago and see Lee's and those guys. Oh my god, I guess I'll go this way. This is where I live. All right. Well, th- but, this is one of my favorite. Uh, minutes and moments in this entire movie and it's because we have a trifurcation <laughs> you're <laughs> a sucker serious. for a good trifurcation i am i'm a sucker that the road <laughs> trifurcates <laughs> and 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 you know what i i love this scene because we have this bright crisp and hopeful sunny morning all pursuing mm-hmm. nazis have perished and we get this brief moment of respite to think and just be present and grateful and you know it's like you're looking at the sign and you're aware you know your your future lies ahead kind of like what you said like oh berlin or venice or new york or chicago and you get a moment just <laughs> to reflect and be present that's exactly what i think of in <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'll, laughs> i'm serious in this i moment. love that that's and exactly I'll, I, what I, I love that and i want to i want to build on that because it do, it's not only that which it is it also the signpost only points three directions: one where you've just come from, and then you only have two choices. One choice <laughs> will lead where you want to go, and one choice will lead where you don't want to go, but where you have to go. That's, it's amazing. The and, irony. And you, well, I, no, I just love that they stop here for a moment and they give you a minute to to reflect. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I know they have their own. It's plot driven. It's like, no, we need to go to Berlin. That's where the diary is. But it, you, you want them to take like, out a sandwich or something. Yeah. You it's like, 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 yeah. like oh, you it's have just, the tuna. It does look like a rest stop. <laughs> it has yeah. a little house right there. 
Maybe there's toilets. Yeah. Oh, and did you see what's that little cute awning post? It's a oh, it's a little. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a little like a little uh, altar. You're kidding oh, me! Yeah. I had it down as a as a payphone. <laughs> no, it's a little. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, the, the it's, little, a it's a little it's a altar. It's a yeah, Indy's about to. Sw- Indy's gonna swipe it too. I have a feeling before they drive off. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> He'll take the flower at least. Is that like a? Yeah. It's something. like a Christian phone booth or something. Like if you need to call God, like just on the road. <laughs> yeah. If you can't, if you can't find a radio to talk to God. Yeah. <laughs> can't find Bella. Wait a minute. The that, that's, there's like that that little awning triangular A-frame little. Thing. Yeah, you'll see it better in the next at the beginning of the okay. next minute. Okay. But yeah, All it's. Right. And I, I, yeah, it's uh, it there because there. It's funny because there was also an altar, like a roadside altar, on his way to Pancot Palace. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, good point. That's that right. was more creepy. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was more creepy. <laughs> I have another question about the sign. So mm-hmm. there's a another sign below it. Does anybody mm-hmm. know what mm-hmm. it says? It's like or Yeah. What does it mean? Ortschaft Oberlus. Which is the town of Oberlust, which is in Western Austria. Oh. And Ortschaft is just like village. Oh. And I can't read, my Gothic script reading ability isn't very good, so I can't read what's right below it. But it's basically like, the, I think the town put up the road marker and this is where you are, like this little village. Oh, okay. Got it. But they are, like this answers the question, were they going into Austria or out of Austria? And this is, is in Austria, so. And they're headed okay. west, like they, they're west from where they started. Huh, Okay. I'm, I, you know, I'm really confused here. Hasn't Brody left for Alexandretta? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah. Okay. What, yeah, so what's and going he keeps on? pointing what's going towards on? Venice, saying, yeah. hey, Marcus is this way. Yeah. Does he think so, Marcus is just so inept he hasn't been able to leave Venice? <laughs> He's trapping the men's <laughs> yeah. room at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I don't, I, but yeah, I don't. I don't under, and, and then, are they supposed to be motor biking all the way to Alexandretta? Is that is that what's happening here? Like, is yeah, is that Indy's plan? I, I don't understand. You're like, okay, so he wants to go to Venice and says, "Mark, it's this is this way," and his dad's like, "No, we need to go to Berlin. That's where the diary is." And you're just like, well, I I guess you know, I looked on the map last night, and I'm like, I guess if you're trying to get to Eskedrin, you'd Sort of go in the direction of Venice if you only had two choices to pick. I was, Berlin I was going to say we only we <laughs> it was established that there's only three options. Yeah, one that you definitely don't want to go to, one you just came from. So mm-hmm. I guess okay, Marcus and airplanes and the future are all in this direction. Mm-hmm. Okay, but but I mean, it, with, are they they're riding the motorcycle all the way to Alexandretta, or are they no. just going to Venice to like maybe that's the closest port? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, maybe that's, I mean, maybe... That's the New York sign. Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's, like, we don't even know how Marcus got to no, this uh-uh. Well, he took a train, didn't he? Oh, he well, he ended up in the train station, but, but he, he did, could have yeah, taken no, a boat. Yeah, there, he yeah, ended up at a train. Yeah, no, okay, so he takes a train. So I guess they're going to go to Venice and take the same train? <laughs> maybe. That's a long train ride. I don't, yeah, I don't I know. I don't know how he's going to do that. Well, yeah. it's a damn long motorcycle yeah. they're ride. They're lucky they ended up in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do we, like, uh, so So Henry is insistent. He's like, no, 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 no. We're going to Berlin because that's where my diary is. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Do we see him as, do we admire him for not giving up and thinking, no, 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 no. All we got to do is go to Berlin and get the grail, or get the grail diary because the grail is all that matters. And we admire that in him, like he's a hero, like he's stalwart, like he's, he's, he's not giving up on his on his quest. Or do we just see him as, like, he actually doesn't get it. He, like, doesn't know what he's talking about. He's got, like, kind of tunnel vision about the diary and the grail and he's not thinking at all about like oh it's actually like the heart of nazi germany and it's the most dangerous place we could possibly go and it actually won't work we will be killed we will be captured we will be you know we will fail like this isn't going to work dad like i know you really want your diary but it's not going to work like is he just like a non-field worm who just does not get it (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i think his son would call it an obsession yeah 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 I think, I think like when you have a great artist, so often great artists are crazy. Yeah. And the good news is they're crazy. <laughs> and that's awesome. You're like, God, that guy's unique. <laughs> I've never, I mean, I, no one would ever sing like that or play like that. And then the bad news is they're crazy. <laughs> yeah. 
And you're like, that sucks. That guy's a horrible asshole. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> I never want to work with that person again. <laughs> I think that that's my, that might be what we yeah, have sure. here. You know, because he is. He's obsessed. And also, you're like, well, I, I mean, I don't know. He's, he's kind of a horrible father. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, but you know, he's devoted, or, or he's devoted his whole life to you know his passion and what he. But loves. I, th I think we'll learn in the next minute to that the, he know. feels like this is has consequences for the whole world. So this might be more. I want to save the. Mm. I want to save the world rather than. I mean, I mixed in with. I want to follow my obsession. Yeah, he's very we'll confident. See. I yeah. Mean, the, the way yeah. how annoyed he is, his facial expression, yeah. <laughs> it's just fantastic with his his patronizing son patting him on the arm. <laughs> like, oh my yeah. God, you don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. And he almost speaks to him like he's hard of hearing. Yeah. He's like patting him and <laughs> yeah. speaking more slowly and clearly. Yeah. Like, Sean awesome. Connery, or dad just looks at him like, are you done yet? <laughs> Well, what's interesting is uh, uh, several minutes ago we had this this complete turn in the power struggle. Remember when when Indy th shoved his valise at you know his dad's valise at his dad, and he goes, "Come on, yeah. dad!" And you're like, "Wow, he's taking charge and he's ridiculing his father yeah. now, and he's you know he's pushing him in the face. <laughs> Get back! You're riding in the sidecar, <laughs> buddy." And and but now we see that maybe the power struggle, uh, you know. Uh, switches again and maybe his dad's on top because he's like he tells Indy he's like stop 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 and he's like disappointed in mm -hmm, him mm -hmm. and he's he's telling him no we can't go that way what are you doing that's wrong yeah yeah you're right that completely changed after the the pole yeah. and the spokes thing where yeah dad is like <laughs> not impressed yeah his son is so disappointed that his dad is not impressed <laughs> really well, I've got funny. I've got one final question for you, Lee's, for this minute. Uh, is this proper motorcycle etiquette to to turn off your engine by just letting the clutch out and stalling it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it makes it a good effect, isn't it? It is. Yeah, because <laughs> it kind of makes them both lurch forward in this delightful yeah. way for emphasis. <laughs> no, just like you wouldn't stop your stick shift car that way intentionally. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I, I was wondering, uh, you know, Lee's, if you're riding in the sidecar, do you have any particular responsibility? You know, they do race them, and the sidecar person do they, does yeah. have to lean over and do some kind of weight compensation. That's about oh. all I know about that. But I, That's about, I okay. think if it's I just mean, recreational like this, you know, you just sit there. <laughs> nice. Well, I think Indy's dad does feel it's it's recreational. <laughs> you just mind your watch. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was, yeah. Well, you know, because you have like shotgun, and you're like, oh yeah, if you're riding there, it's you're riding shotgun. You have a purpose. You know, you're 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 there to defend. You're you're holding up the shotgun or whatever. Maybe, maybe you're the navigator. You're navigating. You're the navi <laughs> navi you're yelling at yeah, them when they turn the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But but in this case, it seems like uh, he is irresponsible with his duties, or maybe there just aren't any. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I yeah. guess I got one more question about sidecars. What percentage of sidecar passengers are dogs wearing goggles and scarves? <laughs> 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 what percentage are Robin? <laughs> Well, uh, speaking of dogs Whoa. wearing goggles, <laughs> this just in from Professor Christy Porter. Um, what does Henry think of Marcus at this point? Is Henry drawn as a mere self-centered slob? If so, who's more self-centered, Indy or Henry? I was hoping that was going to end with a Star Wars quote. The slob or the slob who follows him. <laughs> <laughs> I think may maybe that touches on like how obsessed he is to go to, you know, to go pursue the, you know, to go to Berlin. And hmm. I don't know. It's weird. They're both obsessed, but yeah. I guess Henry seems to be more like focusedly obsessed. He's like, you know, they're, but they both want to get to the grail. But Indy seems to think they can do that just by going to where the Grail's supposed to be, like near a Skedron or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
but Henry's like, no, 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 we got to go to Berlin to get the, you know, otherwise we'll, like he tells it in the next minute, but you know, like he needs his diary. I don't know. They're both pretty obsessed, but it's like they got different methods. Yeah. Remind me, Marcus is free or is he captured still at this point? He's captured at this He's point. He's oh, we just got captured. Yeah. They don't know that. Yeah, yeah, all they know is that yeah. the Indy sent him on his way to uh, the Skedron. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking maybe Indy wanted to rescue him. Indy's into rescuing people. So. Yeah. Well, he's into getting back to him and like you know catching up with him and 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 he's he 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 knows that Marcus is not going to do okay on his own out in the wilderness. Uh, yeah. So maybe he's less obsessed because he's also worried about his friend and Henry's not getting into that at all well wh- how about this if indy were chasing after something he wanted like the ark would mm-hmm. he be as concerned about going after marcus because he wasn't even concerned about marion oh he ditched marion like a yeah. hot potato so i i feel like yeah. this is this is just what dad <laughs> wants i don't let, let's go after marcus i don't care but if i think this is, this yeah. is what something he wanted like screw marcus yeah yeah he's he wants to get to marcus because marcus is where he wants to be to get the grail <laughs> yeah it's like, you know, when your friend has like the, you don't actually like your friend, but he's got the coolest toys. So you're like, hey, I want to go to <laughs> Billy's house. He's my new best friend. <laughs> he opens up the door and you're like, where are the toys? Yeah, out of my way. Where are the toys? Where are you? <laughs> where are the, out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is your mom home? Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Thank you, Lise, for coming into our door today. That was fun. And yeah. uh, hopefully you'll be back tomorrow. I will be. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Yeah. Loved having you. Absolutely. And we love all of you listening out there. So please remember, next time you're riding your motorcycle, wear a helmet so you can come back and join us again tomorrow for minute 67 of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Hey, Lise, in motorcycle safety training, did you ever use cones? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Don't hit the cones. <laughs> yes. 